So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the graph here that's provided, right? So it's a special type of diagram called a graph question. So graph questions, what I'd like to pay attention to specifically is the x-axis, which in this case is the years, and the y-axis, which in this case is the number of 3D movies released. And then also to see if there are any actual points on the graph, which we can see there's a point for every single year, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to circle one of these points. It's called the uh, using the pinpoint method. And really, it's just a fast, quick way to make sure you understand the graph, right? So by circling that point randomly, I then force myself to interpret, well, what does that point mean? So this point is telling me that in the year 2006, there were about eight 3D movies released, right? So I don't know for sure. I could It could be nine, but it looks like, you know, I'm not too far off, eight or nine. Now the question says, according to the line graph above, between which two consecutive years was there the greatest change in the number of 3D movies released? Well, that just means I need to go and look at, first of all, starting with the answer choices themselves, right? And then just test each thing. So between 2003 and 2004, it looks pretty flat, so there was no change. 2008, right, and that's looking here. Between 2008, 2009, definitely a change, but how big of a change, right? So 2008 looks like around that 8 mark, and then 2009 it looks like exactly on 20, so that's a change of 12. And then 2009, 2010, also a change. Doesn't look as steep, however, but let's just make sure. So again, 2009 was about 20. 2010, it looks like, you know, maybe 26. So it's a change of six. So therefore, choice B is better than choice C because it has a greater change. And then lastly, 2010 to 2011 looks very steep. This is probably the right answer just visually, right? But let's make sure. So again, 2010 looks like around 26. And 2011 looks like it's 45 for a change of 19. So two, so B, I'm sorry, D is definitely better than B. So I'm going to cross B out and say that choice D is the correct answer.